The already sinking and broken two Trump Tannic just crashed into another couple of icebergs on the way to the bottom. Tom Barrack, Trump inaugural chairman, has decided to cooperate with the House Judiciary Committee and fork over the requested documents, according to CNBC. This is significant. Barrack is part of the billionaire real estate bunch. His dealings with Trump have resulted in Trump buying from him a stake in Alexander's department store in the Plaza Hotel, both of which Trump lost. He's also got his fingers in the Jared Kushner sinking ship of 666 Fifth Avenue. The one thing to know about Barrack is that he's been around the block. He's worked in government before and seems to have made his own money legitimately. It is doubtful he suffers fools unless he wants to. In Michael Wolff's book, Fire and Fury, Barrack allegedly describes Trump as not only crazy but stupid. Barrack denies having said these these, but he's taken no action against Wolf. Robert Mueller already interviewed Tom Barrack a year ago. So Barrack already knows the gist of the investigation. He's not the kind of guy who's willing to do time to protect Trump. And by all accounts, he keeps his books clean. Barrack seems to hang with the Saudis enough to know how to keep himself just on the side of legal activity, moral activity will have to be discussed at another time. But the big gauge of Barrack's future behavior centers on Paul Manafort. Barrack has been friends with Manafort since the 70s, and he reportedly recommended Manafort for the job of campaign manager. So Tom Barrack has got to be scared out of his mind. Tom Barrack knows he can't pull a fast one. He knows he can't lie. And he knows he can't refuse to cooperate. He is jumping to stay out of prison and, deliciously, his only question to any investigation is, how high? The other iceberg is the investigation into the insurance broker for the Trump Organization. That's gonna leave a mark, not just on Trump, but his kids. As we've said before, the Trump Tannic is going down and now isn't the time for Trump's people to whine on Twitter. No, folks, now is the time to hire every lawyer you can afford, cooperate, and beg for mercy.